Good afternoon. Um, just got in. We're going to do a video. Mark where I'm at. Um, when you start to do this whole like self discovery and look inside yourself and start to discover all the mysteries of yourself, the world begins to open up for you. Oh, man. I mean, you don't want... No, I'm not, I'm not about to cry. I was just <laughs> fixing my contact. But anyway, the world begins to open up to you. And you begin to notice things that you never noticed before. And the place can become... I don't even want to say creepy because it has like a bad connotation to it. It becomes mystical and wonderful. And it's like, oh man, I just saw something that I'd love to share with the people around me that I love. But I can't show them. Because they're not ready. I mean, this is something that you have to like gradually go into. Because if I wasn't so sure of my foundation now, which still is a little shaky. I'm not no, no way near where I, you know, think the end point is. If there is no end point, it will just continue for God knows. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But the more you discover and the more you start to notice and the more you start to see and realize how much alike we are when you're with your friends and you see something beautiful and you want to share it and like we can sit there and watch cartoons or whatever and I'm just like oh that is an amazing realization and I want to go and talk about it and I want to dig deeper into myself and, and, and share what I just discovered by watching something and there's no one to do that with It's like the loneliest road that you ever have to walk. It's the road that you walk alone and through yourself. Like, it's you realize that about 90% of the people around you, they don't know how to conversate. And they don't know themselves. I mean, they're not bad people. Some of them are. <laughs> but I mean, some people just have to go through the same lesson over and over again before they learn it. Which is kind of what I think is going on here with me. <laughs> like, I don't know. You can be in like the middle of a party with all your friends. All people that you love and that you know and that you care for, but still be completely alone because you can't show your true self and dig with anyone. I don't know. That's another reason why I do these videos. Because I do these videos, anybody that sits here and listens to me talk, I've actually like I'm just thankful for the people that I know that I, that I am able to share these things with and um, we're all connected but we're all different we're all going through our own closets our own personal stuff and um, if I put it online 
Maybe somebody else can feel it and say, hey, I'm not alone. You're still alone. I mean, you, I can't walk you through yourself. But just know that other people have done it. Other people are doing it. And um, don't let the loneliness consume you. Because it's real easy to do that. Like, especially when you see something so wonderful and you want to just tell the world. The world isn't going to care. The world is going to think you're crazy. The world's going to be like, yeah, okay. You can do a parlor trick. Okay, yeah, that's, that's neat. The world doesn't give a damn. Unless they realize how close we really are. I don't know. This is another reason why I do it. But the loneliness comes from not sharing it. If you don't want to feel lonely, you have to put yourself out there. The real you. Not the fake you who likes flowers and candies and pink. Nothing's wrong with flowers and candy and pink and bunnies and loving every... Well, something is wrong with loving everybody. But, well, the fake love. But anyway, that's a whole other video that I don't know if I'm going to ever do. But if, I, if, it, if, the, if I get the urge, I'll do it. But doesn't matter. You can do it. I say what I say and I, and, and I do what I do to get you to think and you to go inside you. And then we can share and be ourselves. It's like so relieving to kind of like let this out and to uh, connect with people who can understand it. They can't, I guess they got a few more reincarnations. I don't know. But um, that's where I'm at right now. My uh, actual real point was don't let the loneliness consume you. Don't let yourself smother your own life. You gotta get it out. You gotta connect. I realize we are connected. I don't know. In a way, it's it's you don't wanna let everything in and let everybody in because it's crazy you're setting yourself up for suicide. But um, once you start to dig and you can let go of your ego and your foundation is strong and you know who you are and you know what you stand for and you know the power of your being. It's an amazing feeling. And... Uh, I'm just thankful for those that I've met on the journey so far. And it's, it's so unbelievably, like, I don't want to say freaky, but it's like weird. It's super weird that we're all having like the same kind of like synchronicities and I don't know. Just keep on walking. I know I am. Oh, yeah. Be positive. That's what I was going to say. Um, you know, they, thought, they say your, your thoughts directly affect your reality that you live in. So while you're walking and you're in the dark within yourself and you're trying not to let the loneliness and the... Don't let a hard shell grow over your life because you can't tell anybody. Let it out. Like, I kind of love listening to music now because I can actually apply it 
to everything. And all my songs that I used to love all have double, triple meanings. But yeah, it's a long video of me rambling, which is what I'm good at, rambling. It's kind of hard to stop it once it starts flowing. But yeah, watch your thoughts. You know, they say that we are the eyes and ears of the universe. I believe it. Definitely believe it. It's like, I feel like an antenna sometimes. <laughs> you know? So, um, watch what you're putting out. I'm not saying that you got to think sunshine and bunnies all day. No. Get down. Storm comes. Just try your best to remain positive and to understand why these things are happening to you. You know, it's like you've been married seven times. You might want to start figuring out why you can't keep married. You know, can't be all seven. Which is weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to judge anybody or anything. Hey, if you do that, whatever. But got off track topic but um yeah try to stay positive and um live your dreams keep dreaming god knows i do take care